Hi, I'm Seth Chostak, astronomer here at the SETI Institute. Uh, what shape do you think the Earth is? I know most of you thought round. Well, it was pretty close. It's actually an oblate spheroid, but that's essentially round. But did you know that there's a certain percentage, and it isn't a negligible percentage, of people who think that the Earth is flat? Flat, okay? Or at least like a pancake, more or less flat. Now, you can talk to these people and say, no, wait a minute, I've seen photos of the Earth made by astronauts, uh, you know, from the moon or on their way to the moon, and they show this blue marble in space. So obviously it's not flat, but you know, uh, the response you'll get to that is, well, we never went to the moon. So those photos are faked. Now, why would anybody think that the Earth is flat when all they have to do is go down to the beach and watch some ship disappear over the horizon and see, well, I guess the Earth's not flat, right? It's because they have some need to believe in this. And you can give them all the arguments you want, and they still won't change their mind. This is odd. Probably it's not terribly dangerous. I mean, if people want to think the Earth's flat, that's okay. Uh, most of humanity thought the Earth was flat, and they managed to survive till the modern era. Nonetheless, it's symptomatic of the fact that many people just don't understand how science works, how you decide whether the Earth is flat or round or, or, or polygonal or <laughs> something else. If you're interested in these sorts of things, I recommend that you take a listen to uh, Big Picture Science's episode this week, which, in which we talk to uh, some people who have attended a recent Flat Earth convention. And we also talk about people who go out looking for ghosts and things like that with all this clever equipment, right? You know, Geiger counters and Wiebelfetzer meters and all that stuff to try and prove that they're ghosts. So they're using the technology of science, but they don't seem to know how science really works. Check it out, Big Picture Science. Dot org. So if you like this video, maybe you want to subscribe to the SETI Institute's channel, and you can do that right where you're watching this video. You can also turn on the alerts. I recommend that you do that so you don't miss anything important, like maybe the impending end of the world or something like that.